Hi everybody, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and today we're going to show you how the new Army Painter metallic colours look on this Reaper Iron Golem. Uh, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, let's crack on. So here we are, the finished article. So this is just a test to show you all how the uh, the colours go on a, a larger flat surface and what have you, in nooks and crannies. So we're going to start off with uh, Azure Magic, which is this turquoise colour here on the leg, on the foot even. So that's uh, 
that's pretty cool. All of these colors, or most of these colors, definitely need two coats to make the color really pop. Uh, next, we've got Elven Armor, which is this darker blue or deeper blue here on the knee, which is uh, really quite nice. Next, we've got Royal Purple, which is this color I painted on the arm here. Now, this only took one coat. Uh, it's very thick, the paint, and uh, so you just need to make sure you spread it out properly. But that's come out absolutely fantastic. That's definitely one of my favorites. Gemstone, which is the metallic red on the chest plate here. So that took two coats, but that looks like just really deep, nice, rich color on there. Big fan of that. Zephyr Pink is this color that I painted the other foot down here. Now that's actually taken three coats and could still probably do with another coat on there. And this is just over a, a flat black undercoat. So, which normally are, are great for metallics, but that's a little bit thin. I'm not sure I'll use that one myself. The next one is uh, possibly my favorite out of the lot, which is tainted gold, which is what I painted the hands and the head uh, here in. So that's a really nice, kind of greeny gold, if you like. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Definitely gonna be using that one in future. Glitter green is the uh, color of this armor around the, the waist here. And again, that's two coats of the glitter green. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna use that color in future, but it looks okay. Night Scales is a dark blue, almost like a gunmetal blue, like a dark gunmetal blue, which is the color that I painted on the on the abdomen and in the joints here and around the leg there. That's a, a really fantastic color. Again, that's just one coat from that, and that's turned out really nicely. That's gonna get some use. Evil Chrome is like a, a kind of coppery color, which is this in this little joint and around this wrist guard here, which uh, that's just one coat on there. Possibly could do with the second coat, but I think it looks pretty cool. After that, we've got Fairy Dust, which is their new effect paint. So I didn't read the instructions and I just painted it on. And this is two thin coats of fairy dust on this arm here, which has made it into this almost like chrome effect. So I think with the third coat that would really pop if you wanted to use it like that. But what you're really supposed to do is mix two paints together. So I mixed fairy dust with this green skin here and then mix that. And I applied that to this lower leg. So all it's done is it's lightened up the green skin and made it into a paler green, but with a little bit of a pearlescent shine to it, which you can see on this lower leg. And just to show you exactly what it looks like, so this is in the upper leg there, that is just neat green skin painted onto the leg next to the other bit, so you'll see, you can see the difference. So this is with the fairy dust added, that's neat green skin, and this is glitter green. So you can see the difference between the two. The glitter green is definitely a lot brighter, and the mix with the green skin and the fairy dust is definitely a lot paler and you could you could dry brush it on to give like a bit of a, a frosted effect on the edge that's what they've done on the back of the box but uh, just wanted to try it out and just see what the difference was quick experiment what do these look like with null nile over the top So here I've applied null oil over the entire model and uh, you can definitely see some of the definition on some of those areas a lot better than you could before as uh, as you probably expect. So this armour in the middle, now you can see the joints a little bit better 
and the uh, the arm that was almost chrome definitely looks uh, a lot better it was really obscuring some of the detail because it was so bright so now what we're going to do is just use those colors again the original colors and just put a little dry brush on the edges of each area and we'll uh, see what that looks like so after a quick dry brush with each of the colors let's have a quick run down again so the aqua azure magic uh, with the null oil and then the dry brush over the top looks pretty cool i think that might be suitable for uh, alpha legion space marines or something similar that's pretty good this blue definitely looks better with a wash over it well i think they all look better with the wash over to be fair but with this could be uh, very usable for dark elves or something similar uh, the purple is going to get some use on my dark elves along with the night scales in the middle here they're both great colors that are probably going to get some use on my the armor i really like this gold that's going to be a, a staple in my paint collection as is this uh what's it called evil chrome the sort of coppery color they're really nice fantastic finish on that this is that fairy dust with two coats of the fairy dust straight over a black then with the wash and a quick dry brush over it's like a really nice chrome finish that's pretty good actually i'm impressed with that uh, this is our mixed up green skin and fairy dust pearlescent on the bottom here uh, even the pink looks better with the wash over it and then a bit of a dry brush, but I'm still a bit of a loss where I might use that myself. Uh, this green, again, probably not going to use those on any models, but you never know. That red, I think that red looks absolutely fantastic. That might be a suitable colour for sort of Chaos Warrior armour or something like that at some point in the future. On the whole, very impressed, very impressed with these paints. I think the uh, the finishes are great. Maybe need to put a little bit more work into them than just painting them on, uh, like we have done here with the wash and the dry brush. But I think they look absolutely fantastic. So you can check those out at mightylancergames.co.uk. And uh, as we said before, we hope this video has been useful for you. And please like the video and click the little thumbs up and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.